Welcome back to BL Actor Reads BL Manga, or also known in other places as Yeah. <laughs> Apparently we can't say the word because YouTube doesn't like it, but you know what we're talking about. It's been a hot minute since I've done a BL Manga reading, and today I come back with not one, not three, but two. Different manga I'll be reading today. If you haven't seen any of my previous BL manga readings, I suggest you go and check those out because uh, things did get a little bit spicy. The BL I will be reading today are a little bit different from the BL that I've read up until now because they are wolf-themed BL manga. And those manga are Kind of a Wolf by Suehiro Machi and The Wolf is Not Scary by Sakura Riko. At the time of me posting this video, these two manga have not been officially released in English yet. So you might be thinking, oh, oh my god, but if they're not released, how are you going to read them to us? You wouldn't read them illegally, would you? <laughs> no, 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 no. Of course I wouldn't do that. I have been blessed by the manga gods. And by the manga gods, in this case, I mean Yen Press and Bookwalker. They've actually given me the first chapter to read to you guys for each of these manga. So I guess it's... A uh, little, little bit of an exclusive. It's probably my first channel exclusive. A little gift for you guys at home. Who, me? Yes, that's right. You. As always, I'll be reading these manga on Bookwalker. Bookwalker is an ebook service and it has a huge variety of your favorite manga and light novels. So it's been, oh my goodness, it's been almost two years since I posted the previous BL manga readings. Before I made this video, I was just browsing through Bookwalker's catalog and it has grown, like, they have a huge variety of manga and light novels. I was actually, honestly really surprised. I have a special promotion for you guys. If you guys make a new account and you use my code PERTH at the checkout, you receive some points and you can use these points to buy yourself some manga or light novels. Just to clarify, this code is only available for first time users users so unfortunately if you already have an account or if you've already used my code before it's not going to work just for new time users and just so you know the prices used to be in yen on the website but now they're in good old american dollars american accent is that right dollars oh say can you like i said i'll be reading the very first chapters from both of these manga once i finish reading the manga and if you like what you see, consider picking them up over on Bookwalker because right now, Bookwalker has a special promotion with these two manga. The campaign runs from July 2nd until July 21st. If you pre-order or purchase these manga during the campaign, you get a 20% point boost and a free smartphone wallpaper. I ain't a financial expert, but um... Sounds like pretty good value. Let us begin with the manga reading. The first one I'm going to read is Kind of a Wolf by Suehiro Machi. Let's get started. Parental advisory, warning, explicit content. Lucky I just turned 30. Let me just start off by saying these do be some nice visuals. I haven't actually read it and I'm pretending to read it for the first time. This is actually me reading it for the first time. Just going to try and take a guess at the characters, but I'm going to say this guy here with the hoodie is going to be a bit of a cool guy. The guy with the sexy wolfy ears with the piercings and the flower, I think he's going to be more of a jolly, upbeat, brighter character. Classic classic fun time relationship dynamics. I think we're in for a good one, people. Now to decide on accents. We'll go Australian for the kind of like dark brooding guy and then we'll go American for the guy with the wolf ears. All right. <clears throat> I'm back. 15 minutes from the station, within walking distance of campus and pets are allowed. Sorry I was gone so long. It's been two months since I moved here for this little guy. I bet you're hungry. Here, eat up. It's a pretty decent size for how much I pay for rent. Nothing to complain about, really. <laughs> oh, I said right, dumbass! Here it comes! <laughs> oh, come on, seriously! Except for the noisy guy next door. Ugh. How does he have the energy to do this every single night? Thud! Bang! Ow! Did that scare you, furball? It doesn't seem like he actually has anyone over. The cat's name is Furball, which is extremely cute. At first I just tried to ignore him, but it's gotten pretty bad. How do I still hear him even in the bath? I just can't. I really appreciate if you could tone it down a bit, Ogami-kun. Confrontation. Uh, what? Yeah, I hate to rain on your parade, but could you be a bit more mindful of the time? Oh yeah, right. 
Jeez, Hayato, how'd he piss off Shiroki-san? Who's he? The tar from our class. He just moved in next door to Haya Hayato. The, what is the tar? Teacher's assistant. Okay. Guys, sorry. Um, I'm not American. I didn't go to college, so I couldn't remember what a TA was exactly off the top of my head. I got it now. The TA from our class. He just moved in next door to Hayato. So it's a neighbor thing? Pretty much. I'm so sorry. I'll be more careful. Then I should never have to bring it up again. Ah, uh, he's terrifying. He didn't have to put it like that. This is all your fault. You've got to be more careful. You've got to be more careful. It was the same with the last neighbor, wasn't it? Uh, a lecture from you too, Yukuri? <laughs> of course I am. I can't help it. I just get caught up in stuff. You get me, don't you? Nope. What about you, Akio-kun? I think being loud enough to bother the neighbors is a problem, but it's still better than getting loud because you have your girlfriend- I can't do an American accent, holy f***ing sh But it's still better than getting loud because you have your girlfriend over, right? Huh? Girlfriend? Wait a minute, Hayato. Does Shiroki-san have a girlfriend? One that comes over to his place? Huh? No, I didn't mean it like that. Y Yukuri! Let's get out of here. Look, I, I have no clue if he has a girlfriend. Ah, you don't? Why would I know that? Wait, why do you even care? Why? Because he's really cool. Obviously. Cool? Did you see him just now? He was terrifying. You brought that on yourself. Right? I'm so here for the quiet lone wolf type. Aren't you supposed to grow out of liking that stuff once you finish high school? Sounds like you're a sore loser. Quiet, you. It just seems as though he'd be boring to hang out with. I guess he isn't really the type who'd get along well with you. What can I say? Um, These girls got a little bit of sass and I resonate with that. Okay, we'll make his friend Australian too, but like super Australian. Well, I heard about it, you know. Sounds like you finally went and scared off one of your undergrads. Don't put it like that. I'm the victim here. Guess you did mention the noise. So you finally snapped? Actually, I think I showed a fair amount of restraint. It's not like I need to hold back because he's some delicate flower or anything. Ogami-kun, right? He does seem like quite the social butterfly. Yeah, I'd say he's even beyond that. Well, at least he's not throwing parties and getting wasted, though. Could be worse, right? Uh, well, it's bad enough already. If he starts having people over and making even more noise... I'll kick his ass. Scary. Still, I don't think anyone could ignore a direct admonition from you, so I think you're good. And that means exactly what it sounds like. I'm sure he'll behave himself for a bit now. Yeah, we'll see. Well then, I gotta get to work. See ya. Happily, he was right. That night, and the next, and even the one after that, it's quiet. But I'm sure after a few more days, he'll probably start endlessly blabbering again. Am I really that scary? Shiroki-kun, do you have a minute? Ah, oh, Professor Hori, uh, what is it? I have a few questions for you. I heard that Ogami-kun hasn't been coming to class lately. Do you know why that might be? Huh? Why are you asking me? Well, you're neighbors, aren't you? One of the juniors said as much. Uh, right, yeah, we are. But I've only been there for a couple of months. Oh, is that so? I, I suppose you wouldn't know then. He doesn't usually have too many absences, but he sometimes is gone for a couple of days in a row, so I was curious. I heard he has some health problems, but he's usually so cheerful and upbeat that it makes me worry more. I very much hope he isn't passed out on the floor. Well, I'm sure he's fine, and you're probably worrying too much. Most likely he's just hungover or something, especially with how loud he gets. Hmm, I wonder... Or he could just be skipping class. <laughs> I hope not. Ever since I confronted him, all the late night voices have gone silent. His absences have nothing to do with me scolding him, right? Uh, maybe since I complained he's been going out on the town or something? But it's not like I don't hear him in there at all. Can I crash at your place tonight? You've been over way too many times this week. Oh, come on, I just want to keep playing that game though. Okay, fine. Alright, despite all the noise... Never once sounded like he had anyone over. Is he just a total neat freak? Nah, he doesn't seem like the type. 
Why doesn't he have people over? Still, not like I care since it's none of my business. I'm back. I should take in my laundry. Snickety cat. Sneaky snickety cat. Brow. Ah. Brow. Verbal. Hey, how'd you get over there? Gap. It was open. Ah. Look, just be a good boy and come back. <laughs> the cat's literally just giving him, you're not my boss, kind of face. Ah, oh, that's all gummies. Place the lights are off. Verbal, come, come here. Please. Is he out? Oh, well, doesn't hurt to try. <coughs> Ogami-kun, it's Shiroki. Oh, I guess he's really not here. Ka-cha! It's open. Look, sorry about this, Ogami. It won't be long. Ah, oh, good. Got him. Now time to get out of here. Kata. Clatter. How do you make that noise? Um, <laughs> hold on. Clatter. <laughs> sorry, I don't know. <laughs> Clatter. Shit. He's actually here. Uh, sorry for just barging. What? What the hell? Hey, are you okay? Orgami. What? <sighs> what? What the hell is going on? Prick. Orgami, snap out of it. What's going on with you? Me. Huh? What? Help me. Doesn't seem like he's messing around. What happened to the usual him? And... Oh! Alright, uh... Oof! Oof! Okay, I'll be honest. I should have known something like this was coming. Lucky I actually uh, prepared this drink for myself. It is not tea to calm me down. This is actually coffee. It really gets the blood running. No, but, um... Oof! I'll be honest, I have seen spicier, but, well, you know, you can use your imagination, or better yet, you can, uh, you know, get the manga and uh, have a look for yourself. Ugh, help! Alright, so let's just, uh, calm down. There's a tail, too? What the hell is going on? Grab. Dude, don't, don't grab his tail without asking, but I do understand the feeling. I mean, it looks really fluffy. Ugh! Ugh! Uh, hey, er Ogami-kun, are you okay? Ogami? Ah, uh, ah, uh, I think I'm doing something really stupid. This sucks. I can't help myself, though. This is why I hate the full moon. Flashback. Hayato? What's going on? No, you're... You're scaring me. Stop it! No. No, I, I didn't do anything. This isn't me. I'm scared. I'm so scared. Help me! Huh? What's this feeling? It's warm. And comfy. Huh? Hey! W w wait! Wh w what? What the hell is going on here? Why is Shiroki-san in my house? And why are we sleeping together? In my bedroom, no less. What did I do? Damn. If that ain't one hell of a first chapter, I don't know what is. First of all, really nice that Furball is sleeping uh, there on the bed with them. Th look, look, these are just my own personal BL senses. I don't feel like anything happened yet, but I guess I'll just have to keep reading to find out. That was a really good cliffhanger to the first chapter. Definitely makes me want to continue and read more. Obviously, like I said at the beginning, character visuals Nice. I've never actually read, I mean, I don't know if this is obvious, I've never read a wolf-themed beer manga before, so I wasn't actually s sure how they were gonna, like, incorporate the wolf, but I guess it's kind of, I mean, not a werewolf, but I guess a wolf boy vibe, I guess he turns into a wolf on every full moon. That's pretty cool, because I was thinking, like, how would they incorporate a wolf human into this world organically, but this makes a lot more sense. Really solid. I will continue to read until the end in my own private time, but if you want to find out what happens next, definitely check it out. Next up, The Wolf Is Not Scary by Sakura Riko. Just looking at the front cover, getting totally different vibes to the first one, because in the other one, the dark mysterious guy was the human and playful younger brighter character was the wolf, but I think things are getting swapped around in this one. It oh no, wait, what? They both have ears. Are we going into an anthropomorphic? So maybe in this world, everyone is a wolf. Let's find out. Dude, wait a minute. One has down ears and the other one has up ears. Alright, I gotta find out what's going on in this world. 
Oh my goodness, it's an animal world. I love it. Dude, this guy has capybara ears for sure. Oh no, it literally says mouse. Okay, he's a mouse. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so this guy's a dog. This guy's a mouse. I guess this guy over here is a rabbit. All right, nice. In a world composed of half humans who evidently evolved from animals, society has advanced thanks to their unique vestigial traits. However, those traits have also introduced one particular setback, the caste system. While their hunting days are gone, half humans feel an innate sense of dominance over those lower on the old food chain. The intensity varies from person to person and on occasion manifests as sexual desire. Say it one more time for dramatical effect, sexual desire. So we have apex predators up the top, smaller carnivores, and then herbivores. So if we go back to the cover, I guess this guy's a wolf, he's gonna be an apex predator, and then this guy's faux show, a rabbit, which is a herbivore. Carnivores in particular tend to covet herbivores quite intensely due to stubborn self-conception, possibly on a subconscious level of being absolute rulers. Many consider herbivores as little more than an outlet for their impulses, and so sexual violence has become a serious social issue. Naturally, herbivores have spoken up in opposition, with many expressing apprehension or outright hatred for carnivores, while half-humans are able to resume their original animal forms. Due to the associated risks, they almost never do so publicly. Given the current state of affairs, interspecies conflicts abound. Of course, there are many who desire to simply coexist in peace, but... Seriously, Shishudo, stop! Yeah, whatever. I told you to stay away from the girls in our herbivore class. They come on me too, you know. What can I say? Guess they want someone strong. Don't delude yourself. You sure your brain's getting all the nutrients it needs? Freaking carnivores. You freaking thoroughbreds. I bet you could stand to eat a little meat yourself. Yo, Shiro, you agree with me, right? Huh? Nah, man. Um, you can hit on me anytime, Shiro. Me too, boy. See, this is what I mean, you savage wolf. Did you lay your hands on them? Look, I ain't done shit. I told you. I'm not like that, man. Ugh. I guess those are ear sounds. Why can't we all just get along? Now that's a pipe dream. We've got a drive to be dominant, you know? Some of us can keep a handle on it, sure. But it's too hardwired into us to ever lose it for good. It's not even a choice. Still, while I can't blame their lot for not accepting it, at the same time, that's why we'll never get along. Listen, I know you've got strong predator instincts, and I can't outright deny what you're saying. But don't drag me into your pickup charades and stop doing it just to piss off Sheba! You saw right through me. Come on, you know the girls have it bad for you, right? You're not really my type, but I gotta admit, your hair is sick. You look like a real rock star. Silver hair! Uh, I'm not trying to look cool, this is just my natural color. It's not uncommon overseas. Guess it would give Usami the wrong impression though. Man, I told you! And speak of the bunny. Oh, he was a bunny boy. Nice. Hey, Usami, uh, my pal here wants to chat with you. Dude, what gifts, man? Chat? Oh, dude, dude, look at dude, dude, dude! I mean, I'm not half animalistic, but if I ran into a bunny boy making that face, I don't know, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Could be blushing too. Oh, those eyes. Crap. I'm melting. I don't really want to fight. Huh? Uh, I don't have any intention of fighting you either. Oh, right. Because you'd win in a heartbeat. No, that's not what I meant. I've got nothing to say to you. Was are high as always. Hey! You dropped your paper! Fruity fruity! Sorry, that's uh, what it says in Japanese. It's the sound of his little pom-pom tail going, Fruity, fruity. Oh, dude. Dude, what, dude, what is with these guys just thinking they can squeeze people's tails without asking? Anyway. Get. What? Hmm? Let go. Ah, uh, wow. Carnivores really have no class. Nope. Uh, I, I didn't mean to. You perv. Seriously, that was way too random. Why did I do that? I just wanted to talk to him. While interspecies marriages aren't uncommon these days, my family prides itself on our pure wolf blood. Both my parents only ever consort with other carnivores, so growing up, I was always surrounded by the big and the strong. They wanted me to be the same, 
Eat up, sweetie, so you'll grow nice and big. Also, my looks have got me into my fair share of trouble. Nice hair, asshole. Who are you trying to impress? You're so goddamn cheeky. I'm telling you, it's natural. Dude, if this was ever made into an anime, I want, like, a bunch of these scenes where people just like, Hey, what's your problem, man? And the guy's just going, Dude, it's my natural hair! Sorry, that's funny. Look, maybe it's rebellious impulse, but I've always loved cute little things. I want it. A present for his girlfriend? <laughs> Still, I'd never thought more about Usami than that he was kind of cute. Until that day. Oh, my head's killing me. Am I sick? Better get some meds. Huh? Where's the doc? How are you feeling? Cute. That is a really cute bunny. Oh! Hold on a second. Ex wait. Uh, wait, wait, hold on a second. Wait, what? Wait, is that the doctor? Wait, hold on. Hold on a second. Wait, I'm... Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why is he naked? How are you feeling? If you're too sick to keep your form, you'd best head home. No sense in taking any risks. Okay. Patang. Hmm? Is someone there? Grr. Keep it together. This hardly ever happens to me. Alright, I still don't understand why he's naked, but, um, he fine. He's so cute. I want him all to myself. The second I laid my eyes on him, every hair on my body stood on end. I felt things I'd never felt before. I'm sure my drive for dominance is at play as well, but I don't think that's all it is. Still, I can't even get near the guy, let alone talk to him. Would you stop loitering in front of our herbivore class? You'll scare someone. Why are you even here? If you want something, spit it out. Hey, Shiba, um, is Usami in? He's been out since yesterday. He's a tad sensitive, so he gets sick from just a bit of stress. Stress? Something come to mind? Uh, no. Thanks for that. See ya. You find Usami? Yeah, apparently he's homesick from too much stress. Yeah, not many people like having their tail grabbed. Well, if you hadn't been there... Hey, don't try to pass the buck, pal. If you're that worried about him, why not pay a visit? I don't know where he lives. Did you know he went to the same grade school? He lives right by my place. Usami. Hello? Hi, um, are you feeling... What are you doing here? He seems more cautious than usual. Maybe it's because he's sick. Uh, I, I just brought you a little, a little pick-me-up. I'm good. Yeah, I, I knew I shouldn't have come. Whew. Um, are you home alone? Well, that's none of your business. Maybe not. Yeah. Okay, but you don't touch me. Seriously, what do you want? Are you here to take advantage of me while I'm not at my best? Uh, I'd never. Can you really say that? You herbivores think you're above us. You blame it all on your instincts. Like that means anything. Are you really any better? We're done here. Go home. Grab. Huh? Oh, I told you. I'm not like that. I'm... Because... Ah, uh, sorry. My bad. I, I didn't mean to scare you. Look, that's not why I'm here. Damn it. Oh my god, that's uh, one hell of a cute face. <laughs> huh? Look, I just wanted to apologize for the other day. That's all. The other day? Boom! What? What? Usami? Wh what should I do? If I touch him... Ah, uh, hell, this isn't the time for that. Um, is this your room? Maybe this will help. You, uh, seem kind of cold. <laughs> oh my god. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, wait, hold on a second. Okay, now, hold... Okay, I get it. When he went into the, the, the doctor's room, he was there in his bunny form, and then, poof, he turned back into human form. That's why he's naked. People ain't just hanging around school naked for no reason. I knew that. Now we know why. Never assume. Alright, so, he has his bunny form and his human bunny form. Man, you really are tiny. All the more reason to be cautious. Alright, he's back human. And butt naked. Coom, coom. <laughs> oh! Uh, I didn't, I didn't do anything funny. But then... Why are we... Uh, didn't you mention something about an apology? 
But you went so far out of your way. Boing. Tum, tum. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, like, when he gets close to his ears, it's kind of like, you know, doggy ears when they go like, brr, sproing. Yeah. Wait. It, is he hard? Oh. Huh? All oh, right. Um, look, just put some clothes on already. Uh, look, uh, sorry to leave you all alone. Um, just eat those snacks if you get hungry. See ya. Carrot pudding, solid choice for a rabbit. So, how'd it go? Silence. What, something happened that you don't want to share? Shut up. Oh. Coom. Thanks for the pudding. Yummy. Huh? And that is the end of chapter one. Alrighty. I like this world a lot. I like that people can go between their animal forms and human forms. And I like the whole kind of social constructs of like having the carnivores and the herbivores. Dude, I kind of misjudged things again. I was going off. I mean, I was just making some predictions based on the front cover. The wolf guy is a huge softy. It's super cute how he really likes cute things. I do like this bunny rabbit character. He's still a little bit mysterious. I feel like he hasn't got like fully come out of his shell yet, but I do like the relationship dynamic so far. Visuals, obviously really solid. That was a really solid first chapter. I actually liked that a lot. I don't know. I guess like I thought that it would definitely be the wolf that would be like pursuing uh, the rabbit guy in terms of like, you know, romantic interest, but it looks like it's going to do a swap and go the other way around. This looks like it's going to be a pretty cool relationship dynamic. I think the bunny guy is going to be a little bit more assertive than I thought he was. But yeah, it's kind of cool because it's got the kind of, I mean, like, it's not 100% forbidden love, but like how in the wolf guy's family, he said like they're all like purebred wolves. So I'm sure the family drama will come into play later in the series for sure, because he's going to have to introduce Mr. Bunny to his family. And that's something that I am definitely looking forward to. So that is the end of today's BL readings. I hope you enjoyed these two uh, wolf-themed BL manga. If you're interested in finding out what happens next, I highly suggest you go and pick these two bad boys up over on Bookwalker. And if you really love them, I believe these are both getting a physical release from Yen Press. So if you wanted to have these series up on your shelves, I'm sure you can find them at a book retailer somewhere near you. Guys, it it's been two years since my last BL manga reading, and it's definitely not going to be two years until my next one. I really enjoyed that. That was super fun. If there are any BL manga that you want to recommend to me, you're like, oh, but you got to read this one. It's like the best. Have a check if it's on Bookwalker, and then let me know in the comments down below, and then I can reach out to Bookwalker and ask them any possibility I could read this one. So yeah, as always, leave me your recommendations in the comment section down below, and I'll see you in another BL manga reading video. Sooner than later. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.